Hello Taurus and welcome to your 2019 January love reading. If we have not met, I am Princess India. If you know me, you know I love you. Face tag, a son of a gun. So anyway, we're going to jump right into you guys reading. Everything that you guys need to know is in the description box below this video. But in this reading, we are going to look at Taurus as well as the cross watcher. We're first going to get an overall energy from the trusty, dusty romance angels. They're totally not dusty. <laughs> but, and then we're going to pull some cards from the tarot of sexual magic to see what energies are going on between you as well as this person. And then we're going to throw out the dice of resonance. I don't know if by the time you guys watch this or if, you know, you got Scorpio in your chart or you cross watched, you know, Scorpio. But that reading was something else. So, being that I did Scorpio right before I did Us, because I too am Taurus, I don't know what is about to pop off in this piece. But we shall see. We shall see. So, we're going to ask Spirit to give us clear and direct guidance for Taurus. Okay, and we have, I consider this the Hierophant card of this Oracle deck. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. And I also say with this card, and this is like a year ago, Spirit was speaking to me about that, but um, it's not just religious factors. It's also, um, you know, things like long held traditions, mindsets, socioeconomic status, like societal constructs and things of the sort. So you and the person that is cross watching you or that you guys are dealing with in January, it may be... Um, a stark difference between the two of you or your worldviews, belief systems, and things of the sort. So, Spirit, can we get a card for Taurus's cross watcher person? I don't know what is going on. It's like Spirit is telling me to do so many things. These reasons are going to be so long. Spirit, I don't know why you being so extra, bruh. I'm going to be here all day. It's like Spirit is telling me now that when I do your reading to look at... To look at it like in 3D and then to look at the energy behind it for some reason. I don't know what is going on in America. I am merely a servant. I must do what is being asked of me. There goes consistency in my readings. Hmm. If you don't want me, then don't talk to me. Go ahead and free yourself. I'm saying that because that was behind the flirt card. And yeah, I mean that. Oh God, I can already see where this is going. It's like, um, well, I mean, not for everybody. This happened with Scorpio, too. Flirt card says extend your lighthearted energy to others. And this is for your cross watcher. And then it's free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. I'm seeing this religious factors thing um, in this specific message I'm getting. It's reflecting. It's almost like, okay, this is what y'all get a little glimpse into what my intuition looks like. It's like I see a Taurian person, like a figure of a Taurus person, and they're holding a mirror, and it's reflecting to the person you guys are connecting with this month. So it's the religious factors are more an issue for this cross-watcher person than it is for Taurus. Because the, the feeling that I get behind this mirror that Taurus is holding up are some of y'all, what is that called? A ho, ho, Hayoko empath? Y'all know I don't be knowing the terminology for all these things. A Hayoka empath? Where uh, it's like the highest level of empath where you, like, everything everyone sees in you is themselves. So however other people experience you is them experiencing themselves. So I see a little bit of that going on because the energy I feel behind the Torian person holding up the mirror is like 
you're chill. It's almost like you're in a state of serenity and bliss, meaning to me, like you're comfortable in who you are. So you more or less take people for what they are. It's like, there's no expectation of you being any different than what it is that you show me. Um, I'm not going to ask that of you. It's like, you know, if this is you, like, you know, you said ever since you were a kid, you wanted to grow up and go to clown college. Like, that's what's up. Not everybody's doing that. That's innovative. You know what I'm saying? That's more or less like the vibe I'm getting from the Torian person. But I think the issue is more for this person. So it's like for, and I can't necessarily say for how the cards are going to pan out, but this happened with Scorpio. So it's happening with you too. It's a channeled message. What I'm seeing with this is this Taurian person I'm talking about, you're content with your life and with who you are. So it's like you're kind of the rock, not in that sense of leaning on you, but in the sense that you're grounded and rooted in who you are. So you're kind of... You know, what you're doing is simply what you're doing. You're in your beingness, so to speak. So you're sitting here in like lotus pose, just chilling. And, you know, people are coming through your life. You're engaging with them. You're releasing, so on and so forth. But this particular person, it's like they're, I'm not, it's not repelling, but it's almost like when they look at you, the only thing that they're seeing is you guys' differences but they're the only one that's worried about that. But I feel like this person is hella uptight, though. Like, it's somebody who is like, uh, if you go with the atypical description of a tourist, so you think of like this really, you know, breezy, vibey, bohemian, going with the flow, like, you know, everything is everything kind of person. And then you have this person over here who's like corporate America, Wall Street type of person. You know what I mean? Very particular on how they do things and how they cut their meat with their knife and fork. It's more or less someone like that. Very traditional. And Taurus is very traditional. But it's more or less Taurus is traditional in their essence. But this person is more traditional in their external manifestation and in their rituals from day to day. But the thing is, with them... I don't know. It's almost, I don't, I don't want to say that they lack depth, but the thing is, is man, I'm just exposing this person. It's like their vision is skewed because it's almost like they're looking at stuff very surface level, like very 3d ish. Like they're looking at tours and they're seeing the stark differences. But if they were to look a little deeper, you would realize that Taurus's traditionalism is no different than theirs. It's just, it's manifested in the truest essence because when you internalize something, you know it, you experience it, thus you understand it, right? Because there's a difference between like knowledge and knowing and understanding and wisdom, which in essence are the same thing. So it's more or less... Taurus has come to a place to where they've internalized their experience and it's become a part of them, right? So they have understanding, not just knowing, right? And this person just has knowing. So it's almost like the intellectual versus the bohemian, right? So because they're looking at things from that very black and white perspective, they're, they don't recognize the gray that Taurus is right? Because like Taurus is sitting on that middle road, that gray area. And I think that came up in you guys yearly forecast, but it's not really a forecast. It's just an energy read to give you tools. So watch that if you haven't. But because they can only recognize black and white, they're not seeing that Taurus is sitting in the gray area, which is why they can allow everyone to be who and what they are. And I can vibe with you because I've been white. I've been black. And now I understand that the place to be where it's at, where universal flow exists, is right here in the middle in the gray area. But I'm not going to force you to be that. I'm not going to tell you who you need to be or how you need to be. If you want to come to me from the white side, cool. If you want to come to me from the black side, that's cool, too. I'd really love it if you were gray, too. But if you're not, then whatever. It's all good, right? So that's more or less how I'm seeing how Taurus is. And this person... It's like what they're really dealing with. And that's why I say the whole Hyoka empath thing. I hope you guys are following me. 
But that's why I say the whole Hayuka or high, whatever, however the heck you say the dang thing type of empath is because it's a lot of reflection that I'm seeing to where it's almost like this person is getting a one-sided karmic lesson with Taurus and Taurus is being the catalyst for this person to bring them to a deeper level of awareness without doing anything. Taurus legit just being Taurus is what is transforming this person because it's almost like every time they come closer, they're repelled in the sense that because they're seeing themselves in the mirror. So they're seeing their own blockages and boundaries and how they've put themselves in the box. And the reason that is, is because this person has, man, are we going to have the pro card spirit with all this channeling? This person legit, uh, they've created this box for themselves out of an insecurity. So I would say like, in their life, there was instability probably throughout their life or they had money problems or whatever, or they had people in their life that made less than stellar choices. So they created this pin that they keep themselves in. Now, this person on a soul level is no different than Taurus is, right? So what I really feel like this is ultimately going to do is Taurus cracking chrysalis of this person, but there's legit no effort. Like Taurus just sitting in their abundance in their awesomeness and just legit doing their thing every time this person comes near you it's like it's like something's being chiseled off of them and spirit is doing that because spirit wants them to see that they're you know freaking magnanimous and you know ethereal and things of the sort like a unicorn but it's like they've blocked themselves in so they have unlimited potential but they have limited their potential because they've gotten to, man, this might be a Virgo person because it sounds like Virgo's um, yearly forecast. But the whole thing is a spirit is trying to break them out of this. It's almost like a concrete person they've been stuck in and they felt like they've had to operate in this very robotic and mechanical way in order to be successful in life or to defend themselves against like irrational fears or what have you but um dang spirit i don't even feel like i need to do that at this point because i mean this is like this is energy and external right here that's me trying to get out of doing this unless you say something else you know what i'm saying and i'm just gonna be like well dang maybe you just gave me the channel message because you knew i didn't want to pull all them cards and be here until kingdom come anyway but um, it's more or less, this is a, a one-sided karmic lesson for the cross watcher and the fact that they're learning a great deal from Taurus without Taurus doing anything. You know what I mean? So it's almost like the abundance you guys are sitting in and reflecting them to them is forcing them to look at themselves to free themselves, the authentic self of them. So that they can be more free, free flowing and vibey. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like they'll see Taurus for what they are. Because right now it's almost like they're making excuses to not be with you. Because they feel like the two of you guys are polar opposites when you're not. It's like in essence you are the same person. So you are showing them what they are in their false self. So that reflection is the reflection of the false self, all of the boundaries, rituals, and rules, false belief systems, and ideologies that they have confined themselves with. But ultimately, the more that they keep getting drawn to you, even if they pull back, it's chipping away at that veneer to where ultimately, um, I don't know if it's going to be this month or this year, they're going to come into the realization that the two of you are one and the same and there really wasn't a difference so this very well may be a, a twin flame kind of thing going on here but the thing is is that they're intrigued that's where that flirt card comes in it's like they can't stay away because they're so just enamored with and I'm saying bohemian is it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be bohemian, but that's like the best um, illustration I can come up with to show you the stark contrast. But it's just your free spirited nature and, and, and just your stillness. They're just so perplexed by that 
but they're not realizing they're perplexed by that and enamored by that because it's themselves, their authentic self they're seeing or sensing in you. They're seeing their false self, but they're sensing the authentic self. And it's the subconscious desire to want to be attuned with what it is that Taurus is attuned with. This has freaking been a channeled reading for Taurus. Y'all, I don't know what is going on with the energy today. These readings are going all the way wherever it is that they're going. And I don't even know why I'm even using the tarot sexual magic. <sighs> Let me just use the regular Rider Waite spirit if I could just use the Rider Waite. <sighs> because if I use a tarot sexual magic, <clears throat> it's like my intuition does not have a filter right now and I don't know what's going on. It's like the floodgates have opened and anytime I start talking, it's like I'm just getting a bazillion messages. That's literally what happened for Scorpio. And I'm trying to keep these not necessarily short, short. But uh, I don't know what's going on, y'all. I'm just going to be real with you. I have no idea what's happening in America right now. I don't know. <laughs> My intuition is just on fleek. That's all I can say. Kind of scared to touch booty do right now. All right. So. That was one message for one group of people. Whether this continues on into this, we don't know. But first card for Taurus. We have the Emperor. We have the Page of Pentacles. And then we have the Page of Wands. For your Cross Watcher, we have the Judgment cards. This is so funny. Then we have the King of Pentacles. And then we have the Six of Cups in reverse. So the whole thing that I'm seeing is here, y'all. Oh my gosh, this is so insane. I almost feel as if, um, this is so crazy. All right, with the Page of Pentacles, this, I'm seeing, this could be a continuation of the story. I don't know, it might, it might not. There's an offer that came in that was a less than stellar offer to Taurus. But presently, Taurus is sitting in their power. So this could very well kind of be a backstory to how this happened. It's like this person, they see themselves as the king of pentacles. But to Taurus and the emperor energy, they're like a page. But like I said, you're still unmoved. You're rooted and you're grounded in who and what you're doing. So it's kind of like how people are coming in and out. That's of no consequence to you. You know what I mean? You're just looking at people doing what they're doing. So it's kind of like they came up with a little pinnacle, you know, and you were sitting there and you looked and you smiled and you just went back to doing what you were doing. Not to say that you necessarily rejected them, but it's just the fact of like, I see you, I'll engage with you, but... I'm not moving from where I'm at type of thing. And I'm meaning that in an energetic sense of like you being seated in your power, so to speak, right? So it's not being moved. Somebody gives you a little pinnacle, it's not gonna make you go bananas in so many words. But with the page of wands in reverse and even seeing this over the six of cups in reverse, I don't really see, oh my, make me pull these freaking cards, make me mad. I don't really see like I don't really see communication between you guys and with this six of cups in reverse this to me is saying with this person is them being too entrenched in their past and it's like how I'm seeing this is so strange y'all it's not strange but I mean it's strange because it's like I'm seeing so much duality it's like there's not any communication that's going to be going on with you guys or anything that's really starting off. But that's still, again, of no consequence to you, because I feel like you are just literally in a space where you're not allowing what other people do to really affect you, like talking about it, because it's being so confident in where you are and you knowing that you're in the right place that it's kind of an energy of if you get with the program, I'm with you. If you don't, then that's cool too. Because if you're supposed to be here, you're just going to be here. So I'm not seeing communication, but the whole thing is because this person is still grappling with this. Now with them having the judgment card here, they're being called to a higher state of being 
But the irony of this is, is they think that they're at a higher state of being, but they're literally nowhere near. And spirit just shows me like the chakras. So it's almost like if you use the chakras as a visual, it's like this person is at like the solar plexus, which is your third chakra, the last uh, human chakra, like human person chakra, right? So they're there thinking that they're like at the 12th rate, which is like the golden aura. But it's like, nah, son, that's not gold. That's yellow. And that is the solar plexus. That is just your courage, your creativity, and your life force energy, your willpower. But that's not as high as this thing goes. But they're feeling as if it is. But it's like, you a whole emperor. It is like, I see you, little page with your little cute self. You know what I'm saying? But you're not moved. But like I said, this is the same continuation here. I can see why Spirit was telling me to do energy in 3D because this nine times out of 10, y'all, is a twin flame situation. I'm just going to go ahead and throw it out there now. I think this is the first very clear twin flame situation that happened for Taurus because I was wondering that. I said twin flames come up in everybody reading except for Taurus. never pops up. This is very much most certainly a twin flame situation. Does this mean I have to do another reading for Taurus? Whatever. Let's keep going with it. But anyway, but Taurus is sitting in their power. This person thinks that they're in their power, but spirit is using you to call them out of this lower state of being into a higher state of being. So where I would bring this down to the 3D Taurus is if you've been dealing with a person that's coming off kind of flighty, you know what I mean? Where they're giving you like a half-ass offer that you feel like is not even in the realm of what you would even deal with on some stuff. But it's like they keep coming back. And you're like, what do you want? Why do you keep coming back? The reason why is because it's an energetic draw that they have to you. And the people that I'm talking to is like, I feel like this energetic draw is kind of like a mosquito or a fly where it's like they keep coming back and you're like, what do you want? But it's not causing you pain. So it's not like they're coming and they're taking something from you. It's like they're coming in and then they disappear again. And then you're like, why? Like, what, what do you want? So that's kind of how it's showing up in a 3D sense. But energetically, everything that I was saying in the channeled message before is what's happening energetically. But like I said, on a, on a mundane level, how it looks is this person offering you what looks to you to be crumbs and you're literally like what do you want but what's happening in this is spirit almost like I'm saying it again but a spirit using you as a catalyst because the person just can't stop coming back but the whole thing is they feel like a soulmate tie to you I don't even think that they would use that type of verbiage it's like they feel a connection but they're trying to deny it and then we have the strength card. <laughs> oh, come on. We have the strength card. I'm going to pick three more cards. I hope this makes sense, y'all. These readings, like, literally between you and Scorpio, Taurus, like, I don't even know what's happening in America. But these are, like, blockages. So when it comes to their emotions, it's like they're feeling a connection they feel like almost like I've known you my whole life I don't know what it is about this person I can't explain it so it's like but nothing is really popping off between now and the middle of January <laughs> the king of Pentacles sounds like funny You, man, this is so funny. Y'all are like wearing this person down without doing anything. And that is so insane to me. I can let y'all know now I don't resonate with this, okay? Because I am single, single. The Eight of Swords. <laughs> let me tell y'all something. When this person does come to, because they're fighting it. Like with the strength card, with the strength card, let me show them to you. We have the strength card, we have the king of pentacles, and then we have the eight of swords. It's like with them, 
they are fighting with themselves big time. And it is a huge fight because like I can understand what spirit is saying with the energetic and 3D thing again, because it's like their soul is crying out, right? Like if you look at how these souls look in the judgment card, it's like their soul is crying out, but it's like the human doesn't get it. So that's what's causing this conflicted nature with them and what is preventing this from moving forward. But the whole thing I'm saying is, Taurus, I have to stress, the person I'm talking to, you're unfazed by this because you're not missing out on anything. So it's almost one of those things where, like, you can't miss what you never had because I feel like y'all have never really had anything per se. Like, nothing's really popped off between y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, um, dog, I legit feel like we're at 25 minutes. I'm probably going to have to do like another reading for Taurus because this is like a very specific situation. But I mean, I do read for specific situations, but whatever. But anyway, but it's like the whole thing is this person is literally in a battle with themselves over you. And it's like nothing has happened between the two of you in the 3D. That's why I'm saying this sounds twin flamey because this is all stuff that's happening in the energetic realm. But as far as you guys contact with each other, if y'all even held hands or kissed, none of these things probably even happened. And that's where I, like I say <laughs> that this is the determining factor between like creepy stalker fantasizing in my head type stuff or imagining a relationship that doesn't exist type stuff versus how it kind of shows up for me energetically when these are two souls that are in alignment, it's because, okay, thank you, spirit. I get it. It's because the 3D will look vastly different than what you're seeing in the energetic realm. And in the energetic realm, it's almost like my higher self, me, my higher self, and your higher self laugh and talk about you when you're not there. It's like that. It's like Taurus higher self and the higher self of the person and energetic. I mean, and like 3D Taurus, like all of them are in cahoots having a three of cups moment and laughing at the human of your cross watcher. Like while they're not there because they're not there because they're in 3D and all of y'all laughing at them. Like, look at what they're doing. Like, what what, what are they doing? Like, when is when is he going to wake up? Like, that, oh, so you're just going to, oh, so you're just going to ghost again? Oh, okay, that's cool. That's kind of how I'm seeing it. But it's like looking at these cards, man, like it's as if this person's soul is like crying out for you and they are literally trying to gain control over themselves because like I said, it's this unexplainable pull that they're feeling towards Taurus, but their brain cannot make sense of it. This could also be an Aquarius person too because I'm thinking about Aquarius's forecast for the year. And it, that's kind of like their struggle this year. But the whole thing is, it's like they're used to it's pseudo power, man. It's like they're looking at Taurus and they're seeing what real power looks like. And it's killing them in a sense because it's like they can't reconcile it. Everything that they've ever known, power or strength or courage or true dominion or self-control to be. Taurus is literally undoing that just by freaking sitting and it's diminishing them, but in the best kind of way. But the thing that I can say, and I don't know when this is going to be, I really feel like I might have to do a whole nother reading for Taurus because this is definitely a twin flame situation. Um, they won't get your booty. I'm just going to be real about that. I think that's the best way that they could interpret um, in their mind, the best way that they could interpret what it is they're feeling for you because it's so confusing for them because they don't even have the vocabulary to reconcile what this is. And that's what's keeping them away because it's, it's, it's fearing what you don't understand. So, I mean, I think, dude, legit, this person could possibly be like an atheist. Like they don't believe in God or 
angels or anything. And that could be why this is so hard for them to reconcile because it literally goes against everything it is that they know to be true about life. It's like science versus spirituality. Now, see, this is the kind of thing that I see. Like when I talk about like, I'm not even going to say an inference. This is legit a twin flame union. No doubt about it, which means I'm going to have to do another reading for a Taurus. For people who don't um, see themselves as on the twin flame journey. But the whole thing is here. Um, like when I talk about how it is I see twin flames. When we talk about polar opposites. It's opposites like this. A person who is extra like the essence of spirituality in totality. And then having somebody who is not that in any sense of the word, so to speak. You know what I mean? And it's, it's, it's you, ju you just by being, because it's not, it's not an interference in the sense that, um, you know, like with you trying to teach them or show them anything, you just being is... A reflection or an energy that's literally breaking them down to where spirit is doing the work just by you being who you are and it's bringing this person out of this but ultimately I can say like well I can't really say I don't know how this is gonna pan out but the only thing that I know right now is the simple fact that um is the simple fact that the best way that they can make sense out of uh what it is that's going on. I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting texts like crazy. Oh, good Lord. Okay, anyway. But, um, but yeah, so the whole thing is, is that the only way they can reconcile this right now because this is like your future position, the best way that they could make sense out of this situation is literally like, is it is it that I just want to like sleep with him? Like, what, what what is this? Like, this doesn't make any sense. Because their thought of it is, and that's just because that's as high as their awareness goes. Like for them, there is nothing else. So if in their perception, there is no such thing as twin flames, they don't know what it is, never heard of it. You know what I'm saying? It's like the highest level of connection two people can have is physically connecting. So that's kind of like where spirit kind of wraps it out. It's like, this is like, are we just supposed to do it? Like, I don't understand why it is that I'm so drawn to them. Maybe it's just attraction, but I feel like if, and I'm not saying to do this, but it's like, I feel, oh God. And those are two eights. You got to be kidding me right now. <sighs> wow. What is happening in America? So. The thing is, if that were to happen, not telling you to do it, but I'm saying in the event if that were to occur, it would screw them up even more so in the mind because the level of connection and chemistry and mind, body, spirit union they would feel in that experience would completely screw their mind up any more than it is right now. It might actually make them believe that there is a God. I'm just saying. I'm going to have to do a whole nother Taurus reading, bro. Because this is definitely a twin flame situation. This looks exactly how it is I know them to look like. You know what I'm saying? And this, of course, if you don't know anything about twin flame journeys, the reason why there is no ending or outcome is because this is a never ending journey that lasts lifetimes. Yay. So fun. So fun. Why am I even pulling the dice of resonance here? I guess, Taurus. Twin flame, Taurus. Ay, ay, ay. Man. Spirit, don't just be making me have to be doing twin flame readings and things and whatnot or whatever. It's a new year. I mean, I don't know. All right, you can ask a yes or no question with the dice of resonance, and then I'm going to toss them out. They're clarifying die. I don't interpret them. So pause me if you wanted to ask a yes or no question. 
But okay, we have Pisces, we have Leo, we have friend, we have in a few months, yes, in a few months, and rising. So it's either a Pisces ri rising, it's either a Pisces rising or a Leo rising or, you know, whatever. This is my life right now. Okay, Taurus, twin flame Taurus. That has been your January 2019 reading. I gotta go read for Tauruses that don't identify with the twin flame union now. That is why all of them are like that. Maybe Scorpios are in a twin flame union too. Maybe that's the reason why that freaking reading was so long. I thought these were gonna be quick to agnab it. Uh oh. Okay. Stay tuned. I'm gonna have another reading for Taurus people who don't identify with the twin flame union. Congratulations to you guys. It's a great life. Get your soulmate, settle down, be happy, have babies and things of the sort. But anyway, uh, Taurus Twin Flame, that has been your January 2019 Twin Flame update, inadvertently. I love your face, deuces.